Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind the Country Sheet Cottage. Today we're going to talk about water slide decals. Everything you ever wanted to know about water slide decals. First things first, what are water slide decals? So water slide decals can be applied to hard surfaces like mugs, tumblers, plates, that type of thing. And it's a decal that you can print on with either your laser or your inkjet printer. And then you put a sealer on it soak it in water to remove the backing and then it sort of slides off the backing onto your surface and then you bake it to cure it onto the surface itself. Before we get too deep talking about water slide decals, I do want to note that they are not dishwasher safe. So as they're applied according to the directions, you would not be able to put these mugs, for instance, in the dishwasher. You would have to do something else to the top of them. So if you put it on a tumbler, you could epoxy over the outside. You could try dishwasher safe Mod Podge on a project like a mug, but you would need to do an extra step in order to make these water slide decals dishwasher safe. And so it would be similar in that respect to using vinyl that you cut on your Cricut machine, adding it to your mug and then adding a sealer over the top. So it'd be similar in that respect. But they would be more similar to like a printable vinyl because you can print on these. So we are gonna make a couple different projects. I'm gonna make a couple different mugs and a little small wine glass with a few different graphics and different ways of cutting them. Now I am using clear water slide decal paper. It does come in clear as well as white and you can pick the one you would like for your project. So let's take a look at the supplies we're gonna use for our project. And let's just dive right in to using those water slide decals. You'll need your water slide decal paper. Now I'm using the inkjet version and inkjet printer. There's laser jet versions as well. I'm also using clear and there's also like white versions. So I'm going to use the clear version, inkjet, and this is Printer's Jack is the brand name and I will link to everything below. And then you'll need some kind of acrylic sealer. I'm going to use the Americana brand because I have it on hand rubbing alcohol to clean your surfaces. So we're going to do a couple of mugs as well as a wine glass, just like stemless wine glass. Then you'll need some paper towels, a paintbrush, clean soft paintbrush, and I'm just going to use these little swabs for my rubbing alcohol. Now if you have trouble cutting your water slide paper on your Cricut machine, Cricut Explore machines especially sometimes have trouble with a glossy surface. Keep some matte tape on hand and you can put that around your registration marks once it prints on your Cricut if you're having trouble cutting it and it'll usually cut right away after you do that. So let's get started first in Cricut Design Space. You do not have to have a Cricut to do this project. You can cut around your water slide decal paper with scissors but I am going to show you how to use your Cricut to cut it so let's take a look in Design Space at the steps that you would take. So here are the three designs we're going to use. If you use a design like this cactus, you can just let the Cricut Duo print and cut, and then it will just cut around the outside of this cactus. Same with this feather, it would probably work fine just as a print and cut as I have it here. Now I uploaded all of these as a print and cut, so you can see this one is a print and cut, but as it is right now, it would cut all around every single one of these lines. That's not really ideal for water slide paper. So what we're going to do is add a square. We're going to change that to white and we are going to unlock the square and resize it where it covers up that design. Then we can arrange, send to the back. And so now we just want to make sure that our design is covered completely by the square with a little bit around the outside. Then we'll pick both the square and the design and click flatten. Now the, this entire thing is a print and cut. It will print the rainbow and cut around the rectangle. Now we just need to resize these designs where they're convenient for a mug. So I find like two to three inches depending on the mug or the wine glass works pretty well. And so I'm just going to resize each of those and then click make it. And I will link to where I got all of these designs if you want to make these particular designs on your mugs. And so now I can print this and then cut around it. So when I print it, I'll just click continue. I'll click send to printer. I always turn off auto bleed and I always click use system dialog box. And then this box will depend on your printer, but I always do preferences. Make sure to click glossy paper and best quality. 
and now I can print as many copies as I would like. I will note here that I am doing these decals for illustration purposes only because this paper is fairly expensive. I would probably do enough to fill up this entire sheet as much as possible. While I was going ahead and cutting the decals, I would probably make as many as I could. So I just wanted to note that as well. So now let's take a look at the prints and what you do after you've printed them. So after I printed my design, I did want to note a few things. So I printed on the side that's shiny, but the back side has writing on it, so you should not get that confused. Also, this paper has complete instructions on the back. I would always check the instructions that come with whatever brand of water slide decal paper you're using, just in case it's slightly different. Now that we have printed this using best quality, we need to allow this to dry I would say for at least 10 minutes, just so the ink dries on the paper and don't touch it during that time. Then once it dries, we're gonna spray with three coats of this acrylic sealer. I like to spray with one, with one in each direction. So I sprayed once in this direction, allowed that to dry for like 30 minutes, flipped it, did this direction, allowed to dry for 30 minutes, and then I did it at an angle, and again, allowed to dry for 30 minutes. Here is my sheet that has the acrylic sealer on it. And if you were to hand these both to me, I probably could not tell you a difference. They look exactly the same. I did mark the one I sprayed in the corner so I would not get them confused. And I just marked that with a pen. So now we have our finished paper with our designs complete with an acrylic sealer over the top. Now I did allow this final coat of sealer to dry for like 30 minutes. It was actually a little bit more than that. So we are ready to go. So now we need to cut our images out and we wanna cut all the way through this paper. It is not like cutting a sticker. We wanna cut all the way through. And so you just feel like the water slide paper you're using. And I think this is about a medium cardstock. So I'm gonna cut it on the medium cardstock using my Cricut machine. So let's head to the Cricut and cut our designs. I have my fine point blade in my machine. I have my machine set to medium cardstock, and now we're ready to cut. All right, I will note that this cut fine on my maker. And now we can just remove this excess from the outside. And you can see on the medium cardstock setting, it worked perfectly. Now let's get some water and talk about how to apply these decals to our surfaces. All right, so I've got a cup of water here and we're just gonna start with the easiest decal, which is gonna be this square version. And I'm gonna submerge it in the water for 30 to 60 seconds. Now it will curl up slightly, that's okay. We're just gonna leave it in that water for the right amount of time. So I'm gonna start with this mug and I want it to be clean and dry, first of all. So I am going to clean the surface with rubbing alcohol. And it's a great time to do that while the transfer is sitting in the water because it needs to loosen up from that backing paper. And rubbing alcohol dries really, really quickly. So I'm just gonna rub it all over that front surface now you, I will note you can put these anywhere. Um, I'm just gonna put it on this surface. And, and I just have a roll of tape here to kind of help me balance. Like in the case of this wine glass, you'll probably put it on top of the tape. And in this case, I'm gonna put the handle on the tape just so the front surface is sort of flat. And I'm gonna dry as much of that off as possible. And then we just wanna get the surface wet to help us remove that decal. And you can just dip your fingers in, rub some water on the surface. You can use a paintbrush for this part. So I just want a wet surface at this point, but just water. And then we'll remove that water slide decal from the water. And we are going to position it approximately where we want it on the mug. And then you may already be able to see that it's separating as you pull it out. So you wanna separate the clear part from the paper. And so we're just going to try to hold that clear part 
So I'm holding the clear with this hand and I'm pulling the white with this hand. And I'm just sliding that white paper backing out from underneath the clear. And then we need to get it to lay down flat and get any wrinkles out and positioned correctly. So I'm just going to, and just be gentle with this part. And you have that water on there so it should slide around fairly easily. And then you can use your paintbrush gently to work out any wrinkles. Now these decals with the edge around them are going to be easier to apply than something a little more detailed like these two, which is why we started with this one. And then I'm actually gonna need a paper towel that I have my mug on. So I'm gonna get it as close as possible to how I want it. And then we're just going to use a paper towel. Just fold that paper towel up and you're going to use that to sort of push the water out from underneath the decal and dry it up. So at this point you should really start to see those wrinkles come out. The decal lay down just gently work your way around each of the areas. Because we put that sealer on there, you can see this, the ink is not going anywhere. And after you get it on there, you like how it looks, you've completely dried it off, then we're gonna allow it to dry for three hours. Then we're gonna bake it according to the package directions. My directions are 2.30 for like 10 to 15 minutes, but it's totally gonna to depend on your brand. And then after we bake it, we need to let it sit for three days to let the colors completely come out. And then this one is ready. So I'm gonna set this one aside to dry and let's make another couple projects and look at how to use these decals. All right, I've cleaned and dried my next surface with rubbing alcohol and I've had my decal in the water for the 30 to 60 seconds and I'm just gonna reach in there and grab it. I'm gonna apply some water to my surface. And then I just kinda wanna put this on here at an angle. And that one really was not bad at all. So what you need to watch is these thin pieces and just be super gentle and easy on getting those into place. And then just move that around till we get it where we want it and dry off as much water as possible. And there we have another water slide decal on a coffee mug. So now let's take a look at something clear. So with this version, I had the box around it. This I did not. If you're doing something clear, I would recommend something where you do the precise cut around the edge, just because you might be able to see the, the clear portion. It'll say if this had a rectangle around it, I might be able to see that. So I do recommend something closer cut. Not that you can't do it with scissors and leave a little border. I think that would still be okay. So we're gonna put this in the water and come back in 30 to 60 seconds to do our wine glass. All right, here's my wine glass. I went ahead and cleaned it and dried it with rubbing alcohol. Again, water right on that surface. And then we'll just dig that decal out of the water. We're just going to apply that right to the glass. And on this one, hopefully you'll be able to tell that the decals are transparent, right? So they were clear decals. And because I don't have white behind this one, 
it is fairly transparent on my surface. You may like that look, you might not. That's why they make a white version of the water slide paper. So you could go ahead and go with that if you wanted more of an opaque look where you couldn't see through it as much. So I'm just going to apply this one by getting that water off. And then we're gonna let all these dry at least three hours and then bake them again at minus 230 for 10 to 15 minutes. And then we'll come back and look at our results and talk about the applications for water slide decals. So here's a closer look at all of our projects once I've baked them and they've sat a few days. So here's the first one. So I will say on this one, the, the object was probably a little too large. I was probably a little too ambitious. So you might be able to see some wrinkles in it. They kind of smooth out, but you can still see them on the decal. And then under it, I can kind of see where some bubbles were after I baked it. So not like entirely happy with this design, but it did work and it is on the mug. And I can see, you know, I cut a square around the outside edge. I can see where that is and I can feel it as well. So just to let you know that as well. All right, the next one we did was this feather on this mug. And I must say this is my favorite. Zero wrinkles. It was cut close around, so it's, I mean, super gorgeous. You can feel it on the mug, but otherwise I'm super happy with the results on this one. Finally, we have our little cactus guy. And as you can see, he's see-through, just like I said, because it was a transparent water slide paper. Again, it was cut close, so you can't see anything around the outside. And you can feel it on the glass, but it is a really good transfer. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Okay, so for me personally, I'm way happier with the ones that had a closer cut around them. So similar to the way you would cut a sticker super close around the object, I'm way happier with the two projects I did like that and not really the one where I put the square around it. It just, I can see it on the mug and I'm not, just not completely happy with that look. So I would probably try to do stick with projects like this where I could cut them close or drop this design, for instance, into a Photoshop type program and trace around it like I would do a sticker. And that way the cut would be closer to the shape or cut around this with my scissors would also be an option. So I could print this, cut around with my scissors and get as close as possible to that outside edge. I think it would look a ton better. I also would not go this big. So I think the larger the decal, the more issues, you, potential issues you would have. So I would try to stick with a smaller design or if you can divide like your design, large design up into a couple small pieces, I think you would have more success with those. So hopefully that helps explain water slide decals and how you use them. Now, we talked about them not being dishwasher safe. I also cannot find anything on them that says they're food safe. So in order to be food safe, products have to be run through like this really rigorous certification. So not, I mean, these decals may not be toxic necessarily, but they have not been certified as being food safe. So. When you're making a mug, you can just keep your design below the lip. So where your lips would be when you're drinking coffee, you would want your decal not to be over that area. If you're making a tumbler and you're gonna put epoxy over it, it's gonna be on the outside with a straw. Go crazy, put water slide decals all over it. Um, something like the wine glass, again, just move it down from the lip. Just be aware that they will not be food safe. And and then like it says on the packaging that you could use them on, I mean, it has tons of things like water bottles, bowls, plates, vases. I agree with all that, but the plates, I don't know if I would put it in the center if I intended it to be used for food. If it was for decoration only, yes, of course. But if I intended it to be used for food, I would probably like use a clear plate and put the water slide decal on the back or something like that. So just something to be aware of when you're working with products that may not be certified as food safe and you wanna be careful when you're doing that. So hopefully this helps you understand water slide decals. If you have any questions about anything we've covered, please drop down to the comment section, feel free to ask there. 
If you like this video, if it helped you, please give us a thumbs up. I also drop links to all these supplies in the comment section below, so drop down there and click away if you want to purchase anything and give these a try for yourself. We have videos like this every week, so if you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. You'll be glad you did. So see you next week. Thank y'all. Bye-bye.